Hey guys, Stove Sports here. Um, I had an idea of something I wanted to start on my channel, just posting collecting tips for people who are new to the hobby or are re-entering the hobby. Um, I'm in my early 30s and a lot of people my age are kind of getting back into it and you know we collected as kids and obviously everything has changed quite a bit just the amount of products and grading and um, buying eBay buying things off of eBay and it's just you kind of have to be careful um, about your purchases you can easily make a mistake that you're gonna end up feeling like you wasted your money or you got screwed or something like that so anyway the first tip, and this is something uh, I found kind of recently. Um, all right, I'll just give you an example. So I want to buy, I want to buy the 2015 Topps Chrome Francisco Lindor card, and I want a PSA 10. So we'll take a look here. Um, this is like my number one tip for people getting back into it. When there's a card you want to buy, you need to look at the sold items to see what a fair price is. So, if you see here, okay, so I see the last three were sold, and it says $99.99, best offer accepted. So you click on it, and it says it won for $99.99, best offer accepted. Okay, so now you're trying to figure out, what well, what's a fair price to pay? But you don't know because all the recent ones sold for best offer. So what you do is you click on here, you go to the sold listing, and then you look, it's real small, you want the eBay number here. eBay item number, copy that. And then we'll go to Flipper Tools, FlipperTools.com. And then you're gonna paste the eBay item number here and click OK. So now you see that the person, the buyer and seller agreed on $80, okay? So you might be dissuaded, say, well, I'm not gonna spend $100 on this card, but you have no idea what it sold for. And obviously one sale is a small sample size, so actually, I'm just kinda curious. <laughs> I should have done this earlier, but I'm kinda curious to know what the, what the other one went for. eBay item number, copy that, come back here paste enter this one sold for 75 okay so now I have a target to look for uh, now I want to spend you know around 75 bucks to get this card and if somebody has uh, buy it now for a hundred I'm not just gonna say oh that's too expensive all right so that's uh that's the first tip I have um, you know I'm no expert by any means but uh, having been back in the hobby for a couple of years I've picked up on some things there's some things I wish I knew earlier and uh, just kind of looking to give back to, to people that are in my position that I was in a few years ago. Take it easy.